Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see the concept of multi-range of periods in data management in Oracle ARCS. So in this concept, we will see how to load multiple data files based on different periods using single data load rule. So we will go to our application. So this is the home page of our application from the navigation tab under integration we will go to data management here we will select the setup tab and under setup tab we will first define our source system so i will select my source system so we are going to use file as our source system i will save this then the next step is to define our target application. The target application for data integration is Accounts Reconciliation Manager and the settings in the target application for the ARCS dimensions are automatically configured during allocation creation. So we will just save this. So I'm going to select this one and save this. Then in the next step, an import format is created to provide for a layout for the source data. So from here, I'm going to go to import format. So here an import format has already been created. So we will use this format. My file type I will use as uh, delimited numeric data. My source is my file and the target is my accounts reconciliation manager. Now the next step is to map the fields on the source file to the mentioned dimensions in the target application. As we have selected the already created import format, so the mappings are done already according to my source system file. So these are the mappings that are created according to my source system file. I will show you my file also. Uh, in the first column, there is profile ID. So I have uh, given the field number as one to the profile. Similarly, in my Excel sheet, the second column is company, the third column is account, the fourth column is currency, and the fifth column is amount. So I'm just going to save this. After defining the import formats, you create locations. So I'm going to select the already created location. I will go to location. I'm going to use this already create location. My import format is a sample IMF. My source system is my file and the target application is a um, uh, accounts reconciliation manager. So I'm going to save this. Then I will go to period mapping. Now, period mapping are used to map the source system period name and key to the target application periods and years. So this mapping is already done. So I'm just going to save this. The next step is to go to category mapping. It is used to map the source system data categories to target application data categories. Then in the, in the next step, we will go to the workflow tab from here. And from here, we are going to select the data load mapping. Data load mapping are created for each location. So first of all, select the correct POV. Location, uh, from here, I'm going to select my correct location. It's sample LOC. Period is June. Category functional. Source is file. Target is ARM. So, first of all, select the correct POV. As you can see, the mappings are already done for this location. 
Here, like mapping is done so that the source member names are same as target member names. So the mappings are already done. We can see that. Account mapping is done. The rule name is A1. Company mapping is also done. The rule name is A2. Data mapping is done. Profile mapping is also done. And the last is source type. So here, um, source value is star, but the target value is source system because we are going to import the balances in the source system. If I would have uh, selected subsystem here, then the balance would have imported in the subsystem. So I'm just going to save this. Now in the next step, a data load rule will be created for our location. Data load rule specifies a data file to load into a selected category in period. So I'm going to open this. And from here, I will click on add. Here I will enter a data load rule name. Category is functional. I will select format import format from here. It's sample IMF. Okay. And from here, I'm going to upload my file. So here the file name that we will upload should have a suffix name either by period name or by period key. So I'm going to create a folder in which I will upload the file for each, uh, both the periods because we are doing the multi range of periods. So we are going to upload uh, the files for the period of June 2021 and July 2021 in a particular folder. So from here, I'm going to select and I'm going to create my own folder. I will name as, uh, it as multi range. Then from home, in the inbox, I will select my folder and I will upload my both the CSV files here. This is for the period of June. Now, as you can see, it has the suffix name as June 21. So I'm going to open this file first. So it has been uploaded. Then I'm going to upload another file for July. I will click on OK. The changes that I will do here is I will just remove this July 21. Okay. And I'm going to provide for a suffix type. So I'm going to select period name as my suffix. So automatically it will add that suffix in our file and will search for our file. Okay. So I'm going to save this first. And then I'm going to execute this rule. So my start period is June and my end period is July. I will run this. I will keep refresh, refreshing it until I get a check mark here. So as you can see, the status is uh, clear and uh, my file has been uploaded without any errors. I will click on save, save. And from here, I will go to data load workbench. Now, as you can see, the import has been successfully done and also the validation that the data that we have uploaded is correct is also done. We have got the two fishes. Then for the export, we will go to our application. And in these staging tables, we can see these uh, profiles have been imported, okay? And the balances are, have also been imported. If I want to, this is for the period of June. And if I want to see the uh, July period, I'm going to just click on this location and select for the July period. So 
So as you can see, it is here. So I can see the July data here, okay? Now for the export process, we will go to our system. Under application, I will go to periods. So I'm going to do it for June first. And for July, I have to open this period. So from here, I'm going to open this period. So from the actions tab, I will select import data. And here I'm going to add this. I will create a name for my file. This is for the period June. I will provide for July separately. Okay. And then here I will unmark, uh, uncheck these boxes. I, I, I don't need it. I only need my location. So from the file, I will select my sample LOC location and I will just untick all this. I will click on OK. Now I just have to refresh it to see the staging and the data load and the post process and the result. Staging is done. So this process has been completed without any errors. Now I will repeat the process for the July month. This is for the period July. I'm going to select the location. And I will just click on OK. Refresh it. So this has also been completed without any errors. Now we will see the results. Now, if I will search for my profiles, they are 303, uh, 200044. So this is my profile, first profile. And as you can see, the balances have been imported. The source system balance I have imported here. Okay. Same I can see for uh, my next profile. So this is for the period June. Balances have been imported here. And for the third profile, here are the balances. And for the period of July, These are the balances for the July period. So this completes this process. Thank you so much.